that is really good news. A lot of people were concerned about that virus, uh, the variants there, and the UK variant has now become the dominant strain in much of the US. It spread rapidly since it was first discovered in the US four months ago, but researchers say they're not surprised. Janelle Bludo connecting the dots on what we've learned about the mutation because Wake Up Central helps you wake up smarter. It is now looking like the UK variant of COVID-19 is the predominant strain in many parts of the US. So what does that mean? Let's connect the dots. The CDC now says that the UK variant accounts for 26% of COVID-19 cases in the US. The variant, which was first discovered in the United Kingdom in September, did not appear in the US until the very end of December. Now it is the predominant strain in at least five regions, with Florida having the most confirmed cases. This new data is not exactly shocking for health officials. The UK variant is believed to be much more contagious than the original virus, with some estimating it is 50 to 90 percent more transmissible. Now research in the British Medical Journal has found the UK variant comes with a greater risk of death, something researchers had suspected but were waiting on the data. Now U.S. health officials are in a race between vaccines and this variant. If we can get herd immunity against coronavirus, it can slow the spread of the U.K. variant, even if it is more contagious and potentially more deadly. Some experts are now predicting that could happen by summertime.